Welcome back to the channel guys and in this video I'll be showing you some of my favourite dividend stocks. If you do enjoy the video don't forget to like and subscribe and let's get straight on into this. So guys in this video I'm not going to be going into too much depth about each stock. I'll just do a quick overview and then if I do have a video going into more depth about that stock I'll leave the card in the top right hand corner. But don't forget guys I'm not a financial advisor so do your own research whenever you go to buy a stock. Without the wait let's get into that first dividend stock. The first dividend stock is AT&T, ticker symbol T. AT&T are an American telecommunications company and let's have a look at their stock graph and see why I like them as a dividend stock. We can see that at the end, sorry, beginning of 2020, uh, AT&T were trading at 38 US dollars where they took a massive dip in the coronavirus pandemic and really haven't returned. They really haven't gone up much since the, their dip in uh, the beginning of 2020. We can see since the beginning of 2020, they're down nearly 25%. And let's have a look at their five year stock graph to see how they were performing pre-pandemic. We can see that they had their share price in the $40 range for a while, but then between 2018 and 2019, they took a dip. Then pre-pandemic, they took a bit of a run up here, up nearly 40%, up to their $40 uh, share price in 2019. And for the whole of 2019, they were averaging between 35 and 40 US dollars. They then took this massive dip and they now sit at around 28 US dollars. I think a t could, rec could recover a little bit maybe go back up to what 30 35 dollars no i don't think they can get back to their pre-pandemic highs very very fast but they still remain an amazing dividend stock their dividend yield is 7.18 percent what absolutely smashes out the water the s p 500 dividend yield that currently sits at about two percent so that's why at&t is one of my favorite dividend stocks at the moment but it's probably my least favorite one on this list as i think it has the least growth potential but it still pays an amazing dividend right let's get on to the second dividend stock. The next two stocks are pretty similar and they are Coca-Cola, ticker symbol KO, and PepsiCo, ticker symbol PEP. Let's take a look at Coca-Cola and then we'll move on and have a look at PepsiCo. So Coca-Cola, pre-pandemic, had their share price at nearly 60 US dollars and then they took a massive dive in the pandemic down to sh their share price low of 37 US dollars and then they did recover a little bit through 2020 but they were massively outperformed by the S&P 500 that was up actually 10% in 2020 compared to Coca-Cola that was down, what, a massive 10% in 2020. So they got outperformed by the S&P 500 by nearly 20% in 2020. Since the end of 2020 though, they have taken a bit of a decline and they now sit 7% down on their end of 2020 share price at 50 US dollars. Coca-Cola actually lost money in Q4 last year. What's different to PepsiCo, we'll get onto that in a minute. Coca-Cola lost money in Q4 and this is because they depend very heavily on... Um, out of house sales, they depend very heavily on their drinks being sold at sports events, movie cinemas, bars, restaurants, everything like that. And their brand isn't very diversified, it focuses a lot on drinks, and we'll get onto PepsiCo in a minute, and they have diversified their brand a little bit more than Coke. So why do I think Coca-Cola, though, even though its share price has tanked in the past year, is still a good dividend stock? Well, we can see once again that the dividend yield outperformed the S&P 500, and is 3.26% at today's share price. I also think Coca-Cola will recover after the pandemic is all over as they were performing very strongly before that. If we look at their five year, we can see that they had a big run up pre-pandemic and then they had that crash. I don't think that the Coca-Cola stock will go up much before this pandemic is over as like I said, they rely very heavily on these outer house sales. But I think while this is when this is all over, I think their share price will continue on this upward trend that has been on for the past few years pre-pandemic. I'm buying Coca-Cola when it goes back under $50, what I think it will do. And then I'll buy Coca-Cola, I'll ride out the coronavirus pandemic if it goes up and down and be collecting that 3.26% dividend and I'll be quite happy with that. So let's now have a look at PepsiCo stock and then get on to our final dividend stock. Okay, so PepsiCo are very similar to Coke, so I won't say much about them. I think they're a little bit less risky than Coke because their brand is a lot more diversified. So they weren't hit as hard by the coronavirus pandemic as Coke, and they ended up actually turning a Q4 profit last year. This is because PepsiCo, they're a food company, not just a drinks company, and their brands are a lot more diversified. They have breakfast cereals and they have crisps. These brands rely less on these outer house sales, and that people can buy them at the supermarkets and they consume them at home. As you can see, 
PepsiCo took a massive drop during the coronavirus pandemic, but they did recover and they were only down what? About, they're actually up at the end of the year, but now they're down about 7% compared to the beginning of 2020. I think PepsiCo can recover to its pre-pandemic highs. I think there's less like gain to be had if we talk about the high growth of PepsiCo because they their share price pre-pandemic had highs of $146, what is only $16 more than their current share price or what, 8% compared to Coca-Cola that could go up a massive 20%. Though I do like PepsiCo as a dividend stock as they have a quite stable 3% dividend and they, unlike Coca-Cola, they are profitable. So let's get onto my final stock and let's have a look what that is. So the last dividend stock and by far my favourite dividend stock at the moment is BP, tick symbol BP. BP is a British oil industry company and I've made a very detailed video on them. So I'll just sum it up here and please go check out that video if you want to learn more about this stock. If you look at the past year, we can see that BP traded at nearly 40, 450 pence at the beginning of 2020. And during the coronavirus pandemic, they took an absolute massive nosedive and they currently trade at 278p. If you look at the past five days we can see that BP have had a bit of a run up I think this is because a dividend x dividend day is on the 18th of Feb so Friday this week and they've had a bit of a run up before that it's your choice if you want to get in before their Q4 dividend x date what like I said is the 18th of Feb or you want to wait till after that as you think the share will drop back down after they've paid the dividend let's have a look at the five years and see how they were performing before coronavirus we can see that they were up at 520 pence in 2019 and was stably in the 500 pence range half a pa uh, half a pound range sorry five pound range for a long time and then they took this dip in coronavirus and I think they will recover like I said go check out my more in-depth video if you want to learn more about this share finally their dividend yield ignore this is about six percent at the moment I think I calculated it today and it's about five point seven percent it has been as high as eight percent this year but that is of course when the share was down at this point at Two hundred and fifty-five uh, dollars. Oh, sorry, two hundred and fifty-five pence. I don't know why I'm getting mixed up with my units and not at its current share price. So, guys, that's it for today's video. And they're my favourite dividend stocks at the moment. Just to sum them up, they were AT and T, Coca Cola, PepsiCo, and BP. By far, my favourite stock. I think BP has great high growth uh, return potentials and is an amazing dividend stock with high dividend yields. I think all of these stocks is good, and it's always good to diversify your portfolio. And don't forget though guys, I'm not a financial advisor. Do your own research on any of these stocks before you consider investing. So I hope you all have an amazing day and I hope to see you again on the channel soon. Goodbye.